Good morning guys and welcome back to a fitness related video. I was editing a workout video and a kind of food shop haul and realized I didn't introduce it at all. So what you are about to see is me foam rolling at home, which I often do before I go to the gym. I just find that it gets me warmed up and ready for a workout. I then also did some glute activation work, which is basically just kickbacks and a couple of other things, which I will put all the details on screen. Then I walked to the gym. <laughs> It only takes about five, 10 minutes. It's really quick for me, but it's still nice to stretch the legs. So if you can walk to your gym, then do that. And then I cracked on with the leg workout, which was basically three supersets, I believe. I did also take my ankle straps and do some kickbacks as well, but I did want to keep it just a dumbbell workout. So that is what you're about to watch, a dumbbell only leg slash glute workout. I got really sweaty. I always do when I'm training legs. There's some big muscle groups. <laughs> After that, I filmed a little bit of my stretching as well. So hopefully that gives you some stretching tips. I will post the entire workout in the description box. So it's easy to just copy and paste or screenshot, and then you can give it a go next time you're in the gym. Let's get straight into it. <laughs>
my favorite time of the week when the Ocado shop comes <laughs> because my last one was super boring. I'm gonna show you everything that we got this week. So cupboard stuff, really simple. Just got sweet potatoes, bananas, rice cakes, because I loved them, and a couple of cleaning products and some deodorant, which was on offer. Then fridge stuff. I don't wanna rustle through this, so I'm just gonna get out first. <laughs> I got tomatoes, we've got spinach and kale. Hopefully the spinach won't have a wasp in. <laughs> If you follow my social media, then you'll know I bought some essential Waitrose spinach from Ocado, which I will never buy again. And it had a massive wasp crawling in it, literally through the leaves. I'd already put my hand in, started making a sandwich. It was completely unopened. And yeah, it was terrifying. So I was not happy about that. Also got some green beans. Is this not like the smallest bag of green beans you've ever seen? I probably should have looked at the weight, but it looks like enough for one person. So that was a bit, <laughs> a bit strange. Um, and then I got this packed... Um, smoothie mix which goes in the freezer. I wouldn't usually do something like this but it's because it was on offer if you bought one of these and I'm pretty obsessed with these bowl. They're like vegetarian ready meals basically but really fresh and healthy. This one's delicious. It's like quinoa risotto almost and it's got like feta, tomato, spinach, aubergine, peppers. It's so yummy. So I like to take one of those with me to work. I mean I can't be bothered to meal prep because ain't nobody got time for debt. So yeah that was two for five pounds like if you bought the smoothie kit and this makes two smoothies I believe and it's got yeah it sounds really good. I wouldn't normally make tropical smoothies like this so I'm excited about that. Um, got some blueberries. I already bought some raspberries we always have blueberries and raspberries um i just bought these ones from tesco and they're really delicious i just nearly ate the whole bag and then i've already got things like cottage cheese i've always got loads of cheese feta um already got some spinach bacon and we have already got some tomatoes broccoli aubergine um courgette so i don't need to buy too many veggies then meat and fish we've got like two packs of chicken breasts We've got some salmon. I'm really enjoying cooking this thanks to Miss Becca Powell who taught me the correct way to cook salmon, which is just putting it skin side up in a baking tray and baking it in the oven for like 10, 15 minutes. Because I basically used to always wrap it in foil and then you can never get a crispy skin and if you fry it, it stinks the house out. So yeah, I always thought that if you didn't wrap it in foil, it would go really dry, but just season the skin, bit of coconut oil in the dish and bake it and it's so delicious so I'm loving salmon again at the moment. Um, also got some smoked salmon because it's really easy for like breakfasts and lunches. Uh, I've got some mushrooms as well and then meat. I've got some, I've talked about these before, they're just like my favourite sausages, they're so tasty and they're on offer with these so I decided to get some meatballs. We've got some fresh whole wheat tagliatelle in the fridge so I thought that would be nice. Um, bacon because Sam has it every morning and then these which are also really tasty again just if you have a really CBA dinner but it's not like too unhealthy you know it's not like getting a takeout then they're really good. Um, I've never had Fag or Faye total 2% so I thought that'd be a good in between because it's not zero fat, but it's not full fat. So I'll give that a try. Coconut milks I have in my coffee every day and lots and lots of eggs. And that is the entire shop. It doesn't ever look like a lot, but it's always really expensive. <laughs> it's because things like salmon are really expensive. But yeah, last week I ordered some bread and they sent me Barocca instead, which I was really not impressed with because we don't even like Barocca. Um, but luckily, I did top up on my favorite bread, so we're all covered on the carb front, don't worry. I did a little food shop haul on my Instagram the other day, and then I was like, it looks like we don't need anything like chocolatey or anything, but I've always got a granola stash there. So, you know, I work for them and it's delicious. <laughs> and then I always have, I've got loads of these Squirrel Sisters bars because I'm obsessed with them, they're so tasty. I've got Willy's Cacao Chocolate, whey box protein obviously. And then in here I kind of keep, we've got nut butters and I bought some of these at the coffee festival, um, which was really good by the way. So I've got loads of chocolate waiting for me. So this is kind of our cupboard which has, and there's loads of lint at the back. So, you know, just in case you're wondering if I ate chocolate, I definitely do. <laughs> Hello again, it is me with some lovely washing in the background because 
domestic princess. I hope you enjoyed being nosy with the food shopping and I hope that you enjoyed that workout. Go and give it a go. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment below if you did the workout and let me know how you found it. And please let me know if you prefer fitness videos, travel related videos, just daily vlogs. My next video probably will be a vlog as I'm going to film Be Fit Festival and Balance Festival. Don't know how many vlogs there's gonna be, but I will definitely do at least one. I'm trying to get a video up once a week now. Um, there may not be one next week because that's when I'm at Be Fit, but there will be one the week after. So yes, let me know what you'd like to see. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.